Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Pokemon Sleep video. We have made it to day 11 of the Raikou Research event, and I have used a Dedenne Incense, I have used a Friend Incense, and I'm just trying to get as much of that Raikou main as I can. I have purchased the main skill seed, and then I'm looking to just optimize this last part of the research. Um, throughout the day today, and maybe tomorrow, I'll piece together a video about some shenanigans that I'll pull off on the Sunday, and I think you're gonna find it hilarious. Um, JP and Liam in the Discord have helped me a bit with uh, piecing together a strategy because my green grass area bonus is already 60%, so that'll leave you a teaser. Whoa, that is right on the money. Eight hours and 31 minutes. That's pretty good, I'll take it. Let's see if it's snoozing. Probably is. 20 minutes to fall asleep, it is snoozing. In my experience these two weeks, it seems that it takes the sleep type a little bit into account because it seems that when I do snoozing, there's at least a decent portion of snoozing Pokemon. So uh, that could just be anecdotal. Uh, the sleep styles are said to be random, or at least uh, you can get Pokemon of all sleep styles, but they don't say anything about the rate. So, if it is nursing, we should be seeing a Raikou eventually, right? Oh, we got a Slowbro, we got a Doug Trio. Oh, if that had been Diglett, all right. I see a Dedenne up there. Oh, it's a new sleep style for Dedenne as well. That's exciting. We've got a Heracross. We got Wigglytuff, we got a Growlithe. Let's pop this the Dene right away. Super excited about it. I am gonna piece together a strategy video, how to use the Dene, because I think I figured it out and uh, it, it's super exciting. So I think if I somehow can get the uh, Friend Incense and the Dene Incense to pair up nicely, then I should be getting another, whoa, the Dene today. There's King Mama and a Raichu, and a Flaffy, and a Pseudo Wudo. So, a decent chunk of electric types today, and a, a fair bit of fully evolved Pokemon. Can you imagine this being our last day on the Sunday last week? Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I just got basic Pokemon and the Gulpin was on top and it was just a mess. So, maybe there's something going on with the rates and the the millions and millions and the hundreds of millions of drowsy and then it just loops around like a a battle in ultras and ultra moon okay i'm just gonna finish them all like this and then we have a decent chance here at the hungry kang mama and the dedene and potentially the raichu i could potentially consider the raichu if it's hungry kang mama hungry let's go pseudo wudo i don't like you Ooh, the Dedenne as well, and the Wigglytuff. Whoa, that's a lot of hungries. I'm getting broke today as well. That is unfortunate. Well, I think the first one I'm definitely gonna attack is this Dedenne with a premium biscuit. Hello, Dedenne. If you give me a super hit Megastar, I don't care. I just want the maximum value out of that premium biscuit. Look at this, two premium biscuits, the third Dedenne has been acquired. And now the hunt begins for the fourth. Okay, so let's see. Here's the King Mama. Oh, that is unfortunate. Look how close I am. <laughs> and don't give me the super ultra mega hit now. All right, thank you game. First King Mama acquired. Been playing for like nine months and finally it is here. <laughs> So, I'm um, a little tempted by the pseudo Voodoo, honestly. It's so few bars. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for it though, pseudo Voodoo sucks. So, we got the Raichu. Let's see, how many bars is that? Oh, that's way more than the Dene. Is it 18 or 20? Slowbro skill specialist, Flaffy skill specialist. Doug Trio, oh man, I want a Doug Trio, but I have to catch it as a Diglett just because of that small inventory. And Heracross, I don't like it. And Growlithe, not a big fan personally. So I think this is gonna be it, even though two of these are still hungry. Sorry, Wigglytuff. 
If only it had a few bars. Okay. Let's review these Pokemon. We got a Dedenne again. Let's go. 66 mains is pretty decent. 10 candy on the Raichu, 8 on the Kangaskhan, 10 on the Dedenne. Oh, it's the uh, sleep style, obviously. I was like, whoa. Okay, so thankfully, now that I've hit max rank, all that research EXP is going to be converted into Dream Shards. Okay, I've got the Dedenne here. Let's see it. Is it a gentle nature? Oh, I don't remember that one. Ooh, I don't want this to crack. Okay, so let's have a look at the stats. Not berry finding, double apple cacao, 40 minutes. Oh, let's see it, Dedenne. Dream shard bonus, helping speed, skill, oh, ho, ho, let's go. If this somehow is main skill up, I'm not gonna do the funny laughter, but I am gonna be happy about it. Skill trigger coming in at level 100, that's a little bit late. What is my Dedenne like, everyone? Oh my god, gentle is one of the best natures for the main skill specialists. The energy recovery does matter. I run a great healer. And so I got the helping speed, good nature, skill level up M on the Dedenne. And I don't really mind the dream shard bonus. At the very least, it's not research EXP or like energy recovery. Uh, typically the dream shard bonus will be uh, more use in simply because you tend to get a smaller por portion of it being the research. So, yeah, at max rank, this is perfectly fine. All right, we got a third awesome Dedenne with a good nature. I can't believe it. This is so lucky. I'm going to look for a fourth Dedenne, and then at that point, I'm just going to cap it. The thing I realized that I'll make a whole video about is the main skill of Dedenne is so strong at the base level compared to the incremental gains on the main skills, so that you can essentially just run four of them, for a set period of time, pop them like every half hour and see if they, they proc it. And then when you cap it at 70%, you switch in your cooking pop videos and begin that grind for the Sunday. So you can probably start that already on the uh, Friday after breakfast, something like that. Then you lose out on a few meals, uh, but uh, you should still hit the 17. So, oh, hang on. I should be very, very uh, <laughs> slow here on the Kangaskhan. Do you see the double potato? I made a soft potato ingredient deep dive video just yesterday, and this is the ingredient list that I personally want for the Kangaskhan. I don't really have a good potato farmer, and the ginger is a good combo. Uh-oh. Don't, don't mess me with me here. Oh man, I really need to get an Apple TV to run through my Elgato instead of this. Oh, don't mess me up here. It could be my charging cable, actually. If this somehow stops, then I'll have to run for it and edit the video. But I think for now, we should be good. So, getting back on the Kangaskhan here, we have two potatoes. This is the ingredient list, and Kangaskhan is fairly fast. So, ingredient magnet, we already know this. So, is it going to be ingredient finder inventory? Helping speed, inventory, skill trigger is fine, ingredient finding S, helping speed M. Is it ingredient finding up nature? It's main skill chance down, energy recovery. This is decent. Uh, the other thing though that I do look for in the ingredient Pokemon is that ingredient finding M. That is a big deal. Uh, we can have a look at Kangaskhan here. And I can move aside the pointer here. 22%, it's not the best, but it's got the inventory and it's got the helping speed. The ingredient finding comes in at level 75, so overall, this is definitely definitely not a bad Kangaskhan. I'll keep it around, uh, potentially uh, consider uh, using it. But you can see I've been playing the game since the start. 91 Kangaskhan candy, super rare, not particularly favored. And uh, that is a big part of when you decide to spend those dream shards. So we'll probably wait around for a good while, but uh, at the very least, it's not awful. I've seen some of 
the videos by uh, Pokemaster Pook, and he is getting like 56,000 sneaky snacking every morning. That is insane. He's got a couple good Raichu, uh, so that, that does make sense. My team is fairly heavily ingredients. As most of you will know, I got the Fiji Berry and the Mago Berry. Not the best. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't mess with me here. Yeah, I, I do think it's the charging cable. I'll have to switch that out for the next videos and uh, see if that helps it. If not, I'll just have to just <laughs> empty my pockets for the Apple TV and get a better connection. I can also reveal a little bit. You have probably seen a weird thing happening every now and then with the colors in my videos. I have applied some serious color correction on top of this source. It is awful. I was this close, let me tell you, to not make a single Pokemon Sleep video and giving up after spending $60 on this stupid dongle that doesn't work and it's giving me some incredibly poor uh, colors on the picture and it's not particularly sharp either either so hopefully at some point i can uh money out on the apple tv and get the uh, the elgato really fired up i'm not too fan of the software versions i feel those are a little bit creepy uh you can download like software that will mirror things but i don't trust it so i'm gonna cook some breakfast here and then i was thinking we could do a little bit of uh, reviewing some Eevees. I have talked a lot about Eeveelutions in Nerth Heart with uh, some of you and it's been super interesting. So I'm just gonna recap some of that here in a video just because the analysis is fresh in my head and I can also talk a little bit about how I'll go forwards with the Eevee hunt. So we got a meal here. Thankfully started to cook some proper dishes my performance this week has been so bad and I feel a little bit bad about it, especially since I popped the good camp ticket, but I haven't really made all that good use of it. So soon hitting a million comparison or compared to last week, that is quite low. And then, yeah, I am going to talk a little bit about Ampharos as well in this video, just because I'm getting so close to the level 50. I may be tempted here in this video to waste a little bit of resources just to hit it. And so we'll have to consider that. If I go into the exchange here and have a look, I did claim the main skill seed. I'm saving it for the sub skill seed, but for now I'm not particularly uh, feeling hasty about that. I am just gonna wait around a little bit. And then what I was considering was to get no, I'm not gonna do that after all. Never mind. I forgot the the steep price of 160 is a little bit pale in comparison to uh, the candies up here. So the overall question that I'm left with, and I did put out a video discussing just all the good sleep day events for the rest of the year. I never got to encounter the Raikou uh, with this uh, three-star sleep style. And so that is a bit unfortunate and I will have to uh, really plan out that strategically for it to make sense. What I am considering doing is to save up the mains and get the last Raikou incense here and use one of them uh, this week to get my second Raichu, uh, <laughs> Raikou and then have a third incense that I'll use either during the Entei event or the Suicune event and uh, have saved up a Master Biscuit so that I can get the three Raikos. So that at least two of them will be random. And that way, potentially, I can get a useful one because the first one is a bit lacking. And um, yeah, I'm not, not too big a fan personally. So overall, when it comes to these items, I would say the better value is for sure uh, considering these incense, uh, just because you have uh, the potential to just have it in your bag, encounter a high star sleep style with the multipliers of the drowsy during later events. Uh, be aware that you can only pop one uh, species incense at a time. And then for the remaining items, I would say uh, the Raiko candy at the two Raiko main here is an insane deal. After this event, you won't be seeing 
anything like it for a good, good while. And then in terms of candy, you can get the Handy Candy S because that will be a better value than the Ryko Candy, even if you use the Handy Candy S Ryko Candy, because you can see um, for 12 mains, you get a Handy Candy, which is three species candies. And down here, it costs six for a single one. So that would be 18. And then I don't think the Dream Clusters are worth it. Maybe if you are in the beginning stage of the game and you're really, really short, then potentially, but the thing with Dream Clusters is you keep wanting to hold them off until you hit max rank because you just get that nice chunk of extra um, value. But then when you do hit max rank, the Dream Shards tend to go in a little bit of overdrive. So it's a bit of a hard uh, thing to figure out, but uh, you probably have made the choice already uh, at this point. So I'm looking at 160... Um, mains i am still hopeful that into the saturday and into you know what i think i might just jump the gun on this one i think i'm gonna put on the friend incense no i'm definitely not doing that hang on i have just one biscuit left on the Ryko, so not gonna do the friend incense and um yeah i'm gonna see if i can just get the right coat out of the way tomorrow because I have some shenanigans planned for the Sunday as mentioned. Okay, let's have a look at this Ampharos. What is going on here? Good sleep report. Oh, I can have a look at that later. Maybe we can check the, the research here. Some days I'm getting like 30 mains off the research. It's kind of crazy. Got a lot of Raikou candy. The Demi candy, I like it. 12 mains. Okay, I'm getting close to the 160 to buy it back so at the very least with the Ryko counter here should be able to pack one incense in the bag okay so i wanted to talk a little bit about ampharos and then i wanted to go over the uh evs so i am looking at the ampharos here it's 47 i typed a little bit of stuff into the uh rain on x calculator for the uh, candies and I'm super tempted to pop the Handy Candy L on it. My little hesitation though is I do want to wait around for the Suicune and just save up more or less everything for the Suicune. I'm super excited about it. I am hoping that it will be a good Pokemon. And uh, yeah, Suicune is just one of my favorite Pokemon. So I'm thinking to hold it off. Uh, it's li likely going to be a skill specialist and potentially have the Slowpoke Tails. That's my um, my guess. The Raikou does have Leaks as the 60 slot, so it could make sense to have like two Tails for the, the Suicune. So I'm just very close. So with the Handy Candy L and the Mareep Candies, if I have like three or four Handy Candy S, I should hit level 50, something like that. Uh, I do have the EXP gains down, so that gets a little bit tricky. And the thing with the level 50 is obviously uh, this skill level up S here. Uh, Charge Strength M is one of the skills that uh, currently is available at level 7. And so that's going to be a big boost. I'm thinking though, I could potentially wait around a little bit because it's not extremely important for me at this point in time to get high drowsy. I will be looking for Diglett and Pichu. And currently at Lakeside, I don't have the biggest area bonus anyhow. And uh, that is a big influence on how strong the Amurip is. So we can have a look at a couple of these Eevee. Had a good discussion in the Discord about the Eevee Lucians and all the rate my Pokemons. Overall, uh, the strategy is once you hit friendship level 10, you do get one guaranteed gold skill, and that will be in the uh, first spot, so at level 10. The thing with Eevee is you can keep on hunting it, and there are so many Eevee Lucians that you can evolve the Eevee into to where you kind of need a lot of encounters for you to find Eevees that you can justify uh, evolving into. So you'll actually hit the second guaranteed gold skill uh, perk, which is at level 40. Only problem is, if you want Berry Finding, Skill Trigger M in those two first slots, uh, that just won't happen past level 40. 
So then you have to consider getting energy recovery every now and then. Uh, the, the Dream Shard bonus and all that stuff. So if you are super lucky, uh, you could be getting your hands on a Helping Bonus Fairy Finding EV. And potentially also the... Uh, I think actually we should put up this one just so that we are on the same page here. Uh, so for example, the main evolution that I'm looking for personally is the Vaporeon. And I do want the Berry Finding S. And then in the second spot, I don't personally want the skill level up M on it. That could be pretty strong too. Like for example, we do get the Careful Nature here and the skill trigger. Then yeah, this for sure would be an astounding Vaporeon. Probably won't find anything like this. Though personally, I think I do want that helping bonus here and then I want the helping speed because Vaporeon is not among the most speedy Pokemon unfortunately. The skill trigger is going to be a lot more important than the speed but the speed overall is a good good sub skill. So something like this it's the hopes and dreams scenario. We're not going to find this in a wild but if we find anything like it with the main skill chance up nature, the berry finding, and the skill trigger M, gonna be pretty good. So in my collection, I'm getting really close to 40 friendship level. What happens at 40 is the two first slots will be clogged up by gold skills. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but that is gonna be a problem, and I'm currently at 36. So I don't really have all that many Eevees left to encounter. My best EV currently is this one, and it is pretty strong. It is berry finding, it is helping bonus, it's helping speed up on the nature. Later on it's got the helping, um, not even the helping, but the uh, skill level up, which is a good help. We can bring up Umbreon here too, so that we have it on the widget. Let's have a look. There we go. Umbreon is an interesting Pokemon because it is a skill specialist with Charge Energy S. As it is, uh, Charge Energy S tend to fuel you up even as an ingredient specialist because the skill rate is usually around 3-4% to with a Pokemon with this main skill. And at that point with a healer, you're just going to be living at 150 so for the most part, I would say Umbreon is probably the overcharge type B Pokemon to put on your team. If, for example, you don't really need to put on your healer because you've overcharged a team B that can do a lot of work, then Umbreon is going to be amazing. The other thing here is the ingredient rate. That is decent. It is fairly slow. So for the most part, I would say Umbreon is quite confused. But if you do find the berry finding, and potentially also the helping bonus and a little bit of speed here, then you're going to be pretty golden. The interesting thing with Umbreon is if you do find Umbreon at the evolved stage at some point, you can consider capturing it because you won't be really held back here by the Charge Energy S. The biggest thing there is just the uh, biscuit spend. So if you long term have hit this like bracket of these two gold skills, but even then it doesn't really matter because you're not looking for the skill trigger M. So past 40, you're just going to find a lot of good Umbreons. So this is what I'm thinking currently. Then I have considered getting a Jolteon. I don't have an Espeon and Leafeon I'm not going to mention. It's just a bad Pokemon. And at that point, it's the Vaporeon. Umbreon, Espeon that I'm looking for. I already have a pretty good Umbreon, but I'm going to hold on waiting for a good Jolteon because the Vaporeon is super important as a Pokemon. Vaporeon is one of the best Pokemon in the game, and so once you decide to go for it, it's going to be pristine. And we already went over... Uh, it's not updating here. Not quite sure why the technology is not interested in, uh, <laughs> in being nice with me today. So, it is a Vaporeon here in the spot, and we went over some of the best uh, sub-skills that I am looking for as well. So, obviously, 
hopes and dreams scenario, you're not going to find this. But if you find portions of it, you want the skill trigger M for sure. And this example is showing you after the level uh, 40 friendship. So I will be hunting Eevee in future videos. It's not particularly pressing, but for sure before this weekend event, I want to have hunted a Vaporeon. And for the most part, I'm also holding back on the candy spend. So for example, I have a Flareon here. That is pretty good. But as I covered in the video uh, the other day about when to spend candy and dream shards, this Flareon is not going to get all that much better. Uh, marginally at Top Hollow, for sure, with a berry value, but only marginally. So I'd much rather just hold on and use the candies for the Vaporeon and the Dream Shards for the um, the Typhlosions, the Meganiums, the Berry Finders. So I think this was a rather lengthy video, but you did get a pretty in-depth analysis here on a few of the evolutions. I'll make full length videos on each of these at some point, but for now, this is what you get because I do find those to be a bit more advanced. And so I have a lot of basic concepts to cover before then. All right, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.